the matter? Hey, check on me. O que aconteceu? Uh, uh, check on me, I don't know. Foi logo da first program, já está tudo fucked up. I know. Okay. Okay. That's, okay. 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 that's okay, Milton, that's okay. We're not paying you anyway. <laughs> We're not professional here. Uh, Guys, uh, so we're good. welcome to the Portuguese Realtor Podcast. We're very, very excited to do this for you. We're excited to do this for us. But um, the very first program, yeah. and we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, it's going to be unhitched, right? It's going to be great. Oh, oh I, I hope so. Guys, I just need to remind you, please, share this, like it, comment. Comments are very, very important. So sharing is even more important because that's what's going to keep this program on and going forward and being successful. So we definitely need you guys to share this program. Um, <clears throat> very important also, every show that we do, I'm going to start it off with a question. And I want you guys to comment so like that I can read these comments and we can actually interact. Um, the very first question of the week is, what did your parents do back in the day Yep. that if they did today, DSS would be knocking on your door. I'm going to give you a little example, okay? When I was a kid, I was like, I don't know, nine years old, maybe ten years old. My parents, and guess who the babysitter was? Because Portuguese people don't pay for babysitter, okay? Would they you? raise them. <laughs> they raise babysitters. So I was the babysitter for a four-year-old and a one-year-old. I'm nine years old. What the hell do I know? Okay, so that's my little story of not DSS at all. So you give me your little example of what your parents did, that if they did it today, papiola, okay? Yep, so, and they can do comments or they can yeah. call in. Actually, we have the phone number right there. Absolutely. So, <clears throat> um, I want to introduce you to my left, you know, because you're hearing this guy talking over here. You're like, oh, the guy has so, <laughs> With the space between his teeth. <laughs> it's not Michael Strahan. Okay. No, not Michael Strahan. It's Helder Strahan. <laughs> <laughs> he is the um, executive producer of the show uh, slash co-host. He's not going to be on every show. I'd like him to be, but he is today. So yeah, I am today. Elder Souza. Hello. Um, and further left, all the way over to Lee, oh, oh, Prale, is the co-host, uh, um, uh, co not co-host, co-host. Uh, okay, co-host. Co-host, co-host, co 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 <laughs> <laughs> He's as big as a co-host. <laughs> hey, let's be nice, okay? <laughs> co-host, I'll, I'll get, I get tongue-tied sometimes, okay? But I'll, I'll, I'll straighten it out. But co-host, Gilbert, Gilly, Silly Gilly. Silly Gilly, Gilly, Silly Gilly. <laughs> 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 but we're, we're gonna get we're gonna get to these guys in a little bit, guys. I, very excited, like I stated before, about this podcast, and I just want to explain a little bit of what we're looking to do on this podcast. Okay, not not only do I want to be funny because that's what I'm supposedly known for, um, but I also want to be informative. We wanted to bring we want to bring to you a little local flavor, a little local news, some national news. But when we do national news. It's it's not going to be like uh, CNN uh, national. It's going to have a little bit of Portuguese flavor to it because this ain't fucking CNN. This is it's going to be PNN. 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 Chuck me. This guy's a gold or a pelon. I don't know what's going on here. You. I mean the you. So we're we're going to bring you a national news also. And excuse me for. The, Referring to my notes because I, I, I think I'm a memoria to carai. Oh, I mean, you talk about that and you tell your money. I'm talking about memory and you're talking about alimony. <laughs> <laughs> I say my, my memory is shit. Hey, okay. memory, alimony, no money. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the same, so excuse me for referring to my notes, but, you know, it, it just needs to happen okay. sometimes. Okay? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Alimony, we're going to get to that. Because... Armoni, Armoni. Oh, uh, oh, Germany, Almonia. <laughs> Armoni. Not <laughs> alimony. Hey, hey, you just opened up a can of worms for this guy. <laughs> all of a sudden, he's going to have to start converting dollars into euros and start sending it to Portugal. Hey. hey. But anyway, so to get back to, to get back to, <laughs> to get back to business, guys, um, if you're looking to sponsor on this show, um, just call Taylor. 
Who's Spons? right there? She's sitting right there. Yeah. Taylor's over there. Uh, I'll show you what she looked though. No, nah, <laughs> nah, you're gonna mess everything up. So listen, <laughs> sponsors are very important. We expect this show to do well, so we know that the numbers are gonna be up there. Anyone um, that wants to sponsor in this show, it's very important to do so by calling Taylor. She can be reached at seven seven four two nine four six 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 seven. But what's six six six? Y'all. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah, you might get Taylor on the phone. You might get some freaking Diob on there. Yeah. Uh, hey, House of one the same. I have no idea what the hell. Hey, they're one in the same. Call you five. So, it, it, it is very important to uh, get these sponsors up and running. We, we do have a couple. You know what I mean? But I, I think it's me and Elvis company. So yeah, that's it. Those yeah. don't count right yeah, now. Yeah. But we're going to show you those uh, little... A little bit later. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. But um, uh, I'm also going to have uh, guests on this show. Not today's show. Yeah, um, we are going to have a guest on today's show. Well, we're going to have a co-host for the next show. Yes. No, he's a guest. We have Ronnie here, okay? <laughs> we're going to show you him soon. But he is a guest, so to speak. But what I'm trying to say is that we are going to have regular guests on yes, the show. Yes, yes. Ronnie is a co-host for the next show. So Sandro G was supposed to come on right after my show. Uh, unfortunately, he is feeling a little bit under the weather. Um, if you're watching this, Sandro, please feel better. But uh, we do have Ronnie here, which is his sidekick. The name of his podcast is The Corner Pocket. And Ronnie will explain a little bit of what they're going to be looking to do on that show. But... Uh, you know, it's it, it is what it is. But do feel better, Sandro, because we are uh, e hoping to get you in here. I don't so. mean to interrupt, but who's Isabel Mello? That's mommy. Oh, she says mom is mom. watching you. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, boy. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, I got it! I got it! Don't bail it now! Oh yeah! Lord, I'm on today. He said, "Oh, they can't make me a mother of the bail." Not not today. Not one day. Who comes to don't go? They can't make me a mother of the bail. Okay, I gotta watch my mouth now because mommy's watching. Be careful! Be very careful! Oh shit! He don't show up at the event. All right, now you know. Now you know. Now you know. Okay, that's okay. Who cares for you to consent the key? He stopped for some Is it this mic, Milton? I just shut off the mic. No, that's okay. Don't worry about it. We're not professional here, okay? It's this one. We're not professional. No. Paul, sir, we're I not going to act like we're wire. professional. It's that channel, dude. It's got to be that channel. Yeah, but you continue to vent. Yeah, yeah. To the <laughs> yeah. <laughs> money for God. <laughs> okay, so, um, again, I know I introduced these two guys. Peep, peep, peep. Epa, he's still in the channel. Try changing the channel. See if he changes the channel. I press on the you can change that <laughs> But no, ser seriously, don't worry about it right now. We'll get to that. You know what? If it's not this show, it's next show. If it's not next show, we'll buy new equipment. But I should go buy these in Walmart. Next time, I should buy these things in Walmart. Yeah, just shut it off. Walmart and Walmart, that's it. Yeah, I'll use this one. Go, go, just go. But Helda, it is... Me and Gilly will do a duet. Oh, wow. I think I love you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's like uh, we are the world. We are the world. Yeah, right. uh, <laughs> we're as big as planets. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I, I definitely want to introduce these guys. Okay, so Helda to my left. Um, I've known him about forty years. Uh, we didn't just meet, so we go way back. I mean, um, and how do we go way back? It starts uh, the Holy Ghost, right? Yes. I mean, our parents drank together. You know, my hey, dad... Hey, you make it sound like all four of them did. No, okay. So... My father and your father. Yes. Yes. They, they, they were drinking buddies. Yes. And that's what they did. So, yep. And that's how we met. Yeah. Who, who held the tavern about the Nossa Senhora de Luz, playing his little trombat. Yeah. Because that's what Portuguese do. Yeah. We, we can't do normal shit. No. Portuguese didn't oh, do normal got, shit. Like, you got to take it to the next level. You want to play sports? No, te vas pa banda. Okay, oh Tivas brinca o trompete, Tivas brinca o accordion. Dad, we don't like this. Sh what is this? He's happy. That's what Portuguese do. And then at the feast. I want to play hockey. No, I hockey's a key. Tivas at the accordion. That's what I did. Oh, no, me. Me was a trompet. And a then, hey, feast fries and fathers. This is what you get. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how me and Helda. I almost said Helta again. Uh, hey, Helta. It's not Helta Skelta, it's Helda. So, but anyways, but yes, that's how me and Helda um, got to know each other. 
Yep. And uh, the, the fashions were very important back in the day. They still are. Uh, they're losing That's a lot. Dying they're losing. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is. It is. But, uh, and again, circle of life, you know, maybe 35 years later. <laughs> we get. <laughs> You're pretty, you're pretty fancy over there, Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, 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 I, I thought the derby was going to start right now. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, 35 years later, we, we get reintroduced. How? Because, um, well, now, not then, but now, um, um, engaged to his cousin. Yes. Liliana. Yep. I don't Liliana. know how that happened, but I, I, I lucked out there. Uh, well, a lot of Zambuca. Zambuca. A maybe, lot of Zambuca. Maybe on her part, not on my part, because uh, uh, ain't no bad Zambuca. That's a long story. That goes way back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. I would probably... Pas Yes, turn this one on. Pourquoi tu t'as brincant con Check, 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 check. No? No, no, no. Okay, there we go. All right, all right, we got it. It's not a dildo, bro. Uh, okay, we got it. Nope. <laughs> Don't get excited with that thing. You look like you're having way too much fun with that mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're good. Okay. okay. I just but, wanted to give Gilly back his mic. But again, that's how we came back to reintroduce yeah. ourselves. And here's the wind tunnel again. Don't worry about it. We're going to figure this shit out. Okay, we're going to figure it out. Yeah, yeah, we'll figure something out. So just go. <laughs> just pretend we're on the highway with the windows down a little. <laughs> Someone uh, roll up a, the window. We're doing a podcast from a, from a station wagon <laughs> going to Canada. So <laughs> station wagon. <laughs> station wagon. <laughs> hey, 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 with the wood panels on the side. Oh, okay. Hey, dude. What, are, what other station wagon would there be? Back then, they all... Oh, yeah, there isn't. Yep. <laughs> all paneling. Do they even make station wagons anymore? There's no station wagons, are there? No, they're called SUVs now. Uh, the crossovers. Yeah, crossovers. <laughs> but, okay, to get back to Helda. Helda. Oh, wait. I says it's only coming through the headphones, the wind tunnel. Somebody just said it sounds good. So. Okay, awesome. All right. all right. Thank you very much. That's why comments are important. Yeah, yeah. thank you very Guys, much, comments Lulu. are very important. Yeah. Uh, do we have any comments from my question that I put out there? Just, just uh, right now? No, just that your mother's okay. watching. I think that's scary enough. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, th- I don't think you should say anything. Mom, else. I'm sorry if DSS knocks on your door 30, 30, <laughs> 30, 40 years later. <laughs> but I didn't mean to put you on the spot. But hey. um, again, okay. So just to be a little bit more serious. Okay. How? I'm not taking a credit for this podcast. All right. I listen to podcasts like religiously. I probably have, and I'm not exaggerating. 40 different podcasts I listen to. I don't even know what the radio is anymore. I don't, I don't listen to music. I, I seriously listen religiously to podcasts because I am a real estate agent, and I figure to educate myself is only going to benefit my job. So, And it's not all real estate uh, you know, podcasts I listen to. I love true crime. I think we all do. But um, other than that, Helda started this. Not me. I'm not taking no credit for this. Helder, what, what actually made you want to start this podcast? Well, uh, Eric Bernard, who started Eric B Media, uh, he moved to Vegas. He actually... Unless you invite him with. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, God bless him. So good thing. God bless him. I hope he brought the Latin cane, because that's a lot of heat rash going on over there. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, uh, so, so he moved out there, and he was actually looking for somebody to kind of run the daily operations with Taylor. You know, so she wouldn't be here by herself. And then we kind of mm-hmm. broke it a deal, and I'm part owner of Eric B Media. And uh, so then I wanted, I decided to kind of go a different route with the marketing and stuff like that. We still do the digital marketing, but we want to expand it to podcasts because I think podcast is the future. Mm, definitely. R- radio, with the thing with radio, is that you better hope people are listening to the radio when your ad is played. See, sponsors. Sponsors. Yeah, it's all about sponsors. You know what I mean? Like, like you don't watch TV for free. Like, you know what I mean? It's just the way it goes. Yeah. Um, so, so we wanted to kind of give potential clients another avenue to get their message across. Their Not services. to cut you off. I yeah. apologize. Yeah. Yeah. Well, but well, if you, you did guys anyway. are watching this right now, okay? If you guys are watching this on Facebook, you see that little number underneath Gilly? Uh, that, that's a phone number if you want to call in and ask us a question, comment, say, hey, you know, your podcast is awesome. Because if you have anything bad to say, yeah, don't call. <laughs> but no, seriously, uh, if you if you want to just you know call in, <clears throat> we'll we'll gladly take your call and hopefully help you out there. But go ahead. Yep. Sorry. Um, <clears throat> so that way, uh, it, it, it's just another way for people to send out their messages, their services, and stuff like that. And honestly, it's there's a lot of value in podcast. You know, people might look at that's why I'm doing it. 
Uh, let's say they have a package. Quer comprar uma casa? Yeah, right. <laughs> they have a package, right? They pick one of our packages. I would be hard pressed to see if there's anybody else that gives you that value hmm. for what we offer. Um, it could be reposted several times a week or whatever it is. Yep. And it's just exposure. Yeah, it, and it, you can share exposure. yourself. So if yeah. you're sponsoring, if you are sponsoring with us, I mean, you have. Yeah, 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 and absolutely. it lasts forever. That's Thank another you, thing. Good point, Taylor. That's why. <clears throat> that's why you're here. Thank yeah. you. So, the, the, so the sponsors, um, your commercials, uh, however you advertise, it's it's on there forever. I mean, it really is because you have the power to share that as many times you want, when you want. You know, so just keep that in mind. And we do know that this is going to be successful, and we know that the numbers are going to be there. So, if you do have um, any interest in sponsoring. Please call Taylor. That number I gave it to you before. I will give it to you again. 774-294-6667. Yes. 666. Yes. So um, other than uh, this podcast and what you do here, uh, yep. seriously, like, is there anything else? Like what pays the bills? What else do you do? I'm a photographer. SusanImageWorks.com. Susa, S-O-U-S-A. USA. Not the, with the Z, because no, that, that's the fake no, Susan. Sir. I'm so sorry. Any of you out there with you that Z? What? You know what, what is what? that? No, you know what the Z is? Their, their family or great-great-grandparents came to Ellis Island, and they didn't know how to write or read. <laughs> so, they say, <laughs> so they're like, hey, Susan. <laughs> so the guy's okay. It's the Z. It's the Zota, Jota right there. It's the Z. So what you're saying is that anybody with the Z is stupid. No, not stupid. <laughs> My parents at least had the fourth-grade education. Oh, uh, that's what that wow. means. Yes. Okay, so if you ever heard stories, okay, with Portuguese people, it's like, hey, eating a quatma class. I got the fourth grade. Oh yeah, fourth grade, like that was a big that's deal. That's like college. Hey. <laughs> hey, the fourth grade is college. Hey, hey you know what? In four years of school, my father could write prescriptions. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this. <sighs> <laughs> If you notice, okay, I, I maybe I'm wrong. Yes, but I, you're I, always wrong. But go ahead. Okay, but I think the Portuguese people, if you notice, everyone's a doctor, right? Is that true? Oh yeah, oh yeah. They have a remedy for everything. Everything. Hey. They, they don't have to go to the doctors. They, they do. No, I get but they do. No, I get but they do. Hey, hey. What about when you have a uh, sty in your eye? <laughs> it's got to be Portuguese gold. <laughs> An ear infection is warm olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> and if your ass hurts, a peeled pickle. Stomach <laughs> ache, a <laughs> shot puish. Oh, yeah. Shot Anybody puish. have shot puish? I don't even know how to say puish in English. Dude, I don't can even someone... know what puish is. Okay, listen, listen to me. You can get puish at Shav's Market, okay, or at Portugalia. But listen to me. If someone knows how to translate puish... I want to know what that is. I drank it like uh, up until I was like maybe 18 years old. I don't even know what it is. It's a tea. I had a stomach ache. My grandmother would make shot puish, and it miraculously would go away. I have no idea what that shit is. It could be weed for all I know. No, it was pine mulch. <laughs> it was mulch. <laughs> shot puish, very important. Please, if you know what it is and you know how to translate it in English, I want to know. I I've gone 46. Yes, I'm 46 years old. I have no idea what puish is. Hey. <laughs> And what happened to my plug? I was plugging my business, and all of a sudden no. you start talking about fucking Twitch like you're like a, <laughs> like you're an herbalist. Susa's Susa. No, no, I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> Susa Image Works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. SusaImageWorks.com. Go, go see it. SusaImageWorks.com. Listen, Susa Image Works. That's works with an S. Dot com. Check out his stuff. He does very, very, very well. I mean, he did all my pitches for the promos here. Um, he shared them with me. I had to pay for it because he's a cheap son of a bitch. He's Portuguese. But, uh, <laughs> but he, he does an excellent job. Not, not many photographers. Everybody thinks they're a photographer just like everybody thinks they're a DJ. So, um, or a podcast host. Yeah. I, I'm, 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 still, I'm still working on that one. So, <laughs> um, but what very little photographers, what they, what they lack is the artistic eye. Helda definitely has that artistic eye. And I'm, I'm not just saying that because I know him, and, and you know what I mean? But he really, really does because he blows me away. He actually, what's the name of that company that is, is actually, you know, pushing your stuff on their social page? Oh, uh, Lens Baby. 
lens baby. So that means nothing to me and you because I don't even know what the hell that is. <laughs> but for those of you that actually do photography, you would know what lens baby is. And it's a big deal that they're actually showing his stuff on their social media. So congratulations Thanks. for that. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Elder is pretty good at what he does. So, <clears throat> uh, yeah. So I just want to show you also a video, commercial, whatever you want to call it, on his stuff. So if you can play that, Milton, we can show the people what he does. We're back here. Yep. So that's what uh, Helda does. He does a very good job at his photography. I mean, if you have anything that you want to um, do with photos, I mean, I, I, <clears throat> I'm not good with words sometimes. I, I, I kind of feel like I'm a three-year-old. But, um, yeah, bar mitzvahs. What the hell does a bar mitzvah? Okay, bar mitzvah. What's a bar mitzvah? I'm asking Gilly. Bar mitzvah. Who's this? Bar Mitzvah. Who the hell is this guy? How the hell did Helda age about 30 years just now? No, I'm just kidding. This is not Helda. Guys, don't try to adjust your screen or, or your phones or whatever the hell you're watching us on. This is Helda's nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually Ronnie. Okay. Uh, l let me get back. But yes, if you do have anything, um, you know, a, a wedding, a uh, wedding. Want to commemorate your, 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 child, your, your child getting an eighth place award at, at soccer. I mean, whatever it is, Helder does a great job. He really does. So, again, back to Ronnie. Ronnie, yes. how, how are you, my friend? I'm fine. Okay. This is, this is Sandro G's this this is Sandro G's co-host. Okay? Yes, co-host. Not, not co-hosa. No, no co We already settled on that one. one. But we already this, got a co-hosa on this that is, one. This is uh, Sandro G's co-host. He's going to be uh, on next week. Not this week, as I explained before. But um, give us a little bit of uh, what, what we can expect with your show. It's called The Corner Pocket, by the way. Right. And what we're going to do is try to get people's <clears throat> attention of what is basically going on in the world, in the neighborhood, around us. This fucking Sesame Street? <laughs> Woo! Not yet. No, we're not getting there. But Oh, wait. In your neighborhood. Yeah, neighborhood, like yeah, uh, neighborhood. Uh, uh, Mr. Rogers. All I kinds of it. stuff that you can talk about. Good. What's happening? Of uh, people running for office. Uh, people getting arrested for office. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to get and, into that. And doing things, you know, that's basically uh, what people want to know about. And uh, of course, with with Sandro's music yeah. and and everything that he does, he is an amazing man. So, so it'll be a little different. So oh, yeah, uh, obviously you got to tune in next week uh, because Sandro's a little under the weather. Oh, yeah. If you didn't hear us earlier, but. Uh, feel better, buddy. Uh, but yeah, it'll be uh, something else. So stay tuned next week for that. And uh, again, to get back to my co host. <laughs> uh, <laughs> silly, si silly Gilly, okay? Um, mm. I just want to ask you, and, and we need to hear this in English. We don't want to hear it in Portuguese, okay? You can, but. A little bit, voila. <laughs> Gilly, how many. Years have you been in America? Sixteen years. Okay. What? Sixteen years. Okay. Sixteen years. Yeah. All right. We're gonna have to teach this guy a little bit of English. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> yeah, put two fucking words together. <laughs> That's no, good. Sixteen years. Sixteen years. Mas eu não falo muito inglês por causa que na minha casa fala é tudo português. Porque? Não vejo televis. Não televis só inglês. Yeah, mas eu tenho uns com nós portugueses. <laughs> and, and there you go. But that's okay. That's okay. At least you know a beautiful language, the Portuguese language. Other, other than going to the gym all day, because we can see that you pump some iron there, okay? Other than going to the gym all day, what is it that you do? What do you do all day? <laughs> so what he's saying is that he doesn't fucking work. Okay, <laughs> he just sits home all day. But that's okay, all right, because that's the, it works for you. <laughs> but I got a little story to tell you. All right, so we were kind of sweating earlier. Because I've been calling, well, not me.
Hey, sorry, Milton, and he's going to show his beautiful face right now, so like that we can all uh, adjust our screens. No, I'm 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 just kidding. But uh, so we Milton was calling him all day, and we thought that this guy actually got some fucking butterflies. I know it's a lot of butterflies. A lot of butterflies. A lot of fucking butterflies. <laughs> But time. he wasn't he wasn't answering the phone. <laughs> and so, you know, Helder gets back to me and he's like, hey, we, we might have to go without Gilly. I'm like, there's no freaking way we can go without Gilly. I mean, Gilly is, is, is part of the show. I mean, I have stuff here for Gilly. And so I was like, where is this guy? Do I have to go over there and like kick down his door? But. We're calling, we're calling, we're calling. The guy never answered the I, phone. I, I leave the bathroom every day. <laughs> <laughs> wow, today she's back. So I'm going to make you a Okay? I'm going to make you a face. I'm going to make presentation. But, no, seriously. Oh. So, again, we're calling him all day. It just ain't happening. All of a sudden, the guy calls back. He's like, hey, you know. Uh, I had a little bit of an accident. So I was like, yeah, an accident. He's like, oh, yeah. He said he almost didn't make it to the show today, believe it or not. So he explained to us what happened. And I was like, there's no freaking way. He goes, oh, yeah. He says, I got a video because the guy's got security cameras in his house. I don't know why, yep. but he does. So we actually have a video of what happened to Gilly. Yeah. And we're going to play that for you so like that you guys don't think that we're liars. Hey. Dude, how the hell did you get up? She's how are you here right now? She had a tiring problem. Still school problem for the tiring too. How the hell are you actually here right now? That looked painful. Oh my god! Oh, well, she's finished weed. <laughs> I sang. You finished weed? Yeah, I take <laughs> so my nap. <laughs> I take my nap. <laughs> I'm banking. <Blum. laughs> but he's here because he's a trooper. So we're, we're glad to have you. We, we appreciate your presence. You know what I mean? It's going to be a fun show. Um, <clears throat> but, again, um, that's what we got. And now a little bit about myself. I want to explain to you a little bit about the Portuguese realtor character all right, and how that came into an, uh, existence. So it goes back, I want to say, I don't know, four years. Um, yeah, it goes back about four years. Sorry, I was, Milton was giving me some fucking sign language over there. Father, <laughs> we don't mind. I don't know what this is. I, I got to learn sign language. <laughs> look at that camera. Okay. I know. I, I looked down. I looked at the right. I looked at the left. It's like I have some sort of freaking, I don't know. But anyways, I'll, I'll get used to it. But, okay, you can speak, though, Milton, because this is an unprofessional show. <laughs> but other than that... Um, how this came, how the Portuguese realtor came into existence is um, I was sitting at an open house, all right, of all things. And back then, uh, they weren't like today. Today, there's a very um, shortage uh, or a very low inventory. Um, and so you'll have about 30, 40, 50 people come into your open houses. And you'll have, you know, like 25 to 30 offers on the same house. And only one person walks away with that house. So back then... I'd be sitting there for a while, and there ain't nobody coming. And we had some good product, too. I mean, I had a, I had a nice house. With this house that, I, that you'll see this video, it's coming up. But um, uh, it was a very nice house. Like, the person totally did it all up. I mean, everything was rehabbed, brand new. And I had one fucking person come to the open house. I'm like, are you serious? I was get, uh, it was demoralizing. So anyhow, <clears throat> it was priced right, too. So it's not like it wasn't priced wrong. It was priced right because... At the end of the day, it did go a little bit over asking. Back then, you were lucky to get over asking. But, um, yeah, so I was at an open house. I stumbled across these filters on Face. I'm sorry. I stumbled across these filters on Snapchat. And uh, I said, why not? I mean, I'm just sitting here anyways. So I started playing around with the filters. And this was my very, very first video that I ever made. It might not be the best video. <clears throat> But it's the first video. But I, I want to. You're bast. <laughs> you bast. <laughs> I think he's trying to call me a bastard. I don't know. But anyways, um, it was the very, very first video that I ever made, and I want to share that with you because maybe <clears throat> you haven't seen it. Maybe you have, but um, it's not the best. But it's pretty good for a first video. You know what I mean? So if you can play that, Milton, um, hope you enjoy it. Bom dia, pá. Vocês gostam de mexer, pá? Não é tão bem. Coisa de bem, pá. 
mir wird für sich schütteln. Ellen wird trüsch, Mann, ich bin so bei trüsch. Nur für euch, für trüsch, Kuli. Ich bin so gut, ich bin so gut. <laughs> so yeah that 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 was the very first video i ever made and uh i drew that up on social media um you know facebook and it got some response i mean and i said to myself i was like hmm you know if you can't generate leads uh, to sell homes uh, the traditional way that people do i says maybe i can do it by being a palos because i'm pretty good at doing that you know <laughs> so I, i i pushed it on there and um here i am today i mean it's uh the rest is history i mean we'll, we'll get to a few of my other videos maybe not today but um definitely uh during these episodes these different podcasts um <clears throat> Well, actually, we're gonna we're gonna play one more. Not right now, though. But uh, yeah, um, Gilly. Já as pessoas curiosas já têm de muito para ver isso o primeiro dia. Só vão se fortir muito com a gente aqui. É só que tu ainda um bocadinho com essas barbelotas aqui. So what he's saying is that he's a little constipated. He wants to know when we're going to commercial break because he's got to go take a shit. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, and pretty soon. Don't worry about it. Okay, pretty soon. So, you know, uh, don't eat so much fish on before no, the show. Oh, good. Shut up, my Joe. Shut up, my laugh. Okay, there you go. So, oh, my God. Yeah. Um, we also have a segment coming up. Um, maybe I shouldn't have announced it that way, but I don't care. It's my show. Uh, it's called Noticias Cus Gilbert. Okay? And we're going to do that for you right now. Ok. As notícias do Gilbert. Boa noite. Ok. These are very important, though, because, um, <clears throat> basically, I don't know if you guys have heard or not, but we got fucking Russians up in space right now filming a movie. Have you heard that? This is true. I'm, I'm not making this shit up. All right. We have a Russian crew right now up in space that's filming a movie. If, Gilly. So if, if you were to make a movie right now, yes. okay, listen, listen very carefully. <clears throat> if you were to make a movie, where would you make this movie and what would it be about? Do you want me to explain that in Portuguese? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, please. Okay. Se eu gravasse um movie, onde é que eu gravava? Gravava na Bretanha. Anywhere in the world, this guy goes back home. <laughs> yeah, Bretagne, okay. uma terra de nhomes, super de nhomes. <laughs> and that's the reason why there's no Portuguese oh film crew. Oh, my God. Eles lá têm boas marracas e tudo. Is this a sex movie? I mean, marracas, what the hell is this? Oh, marracas, uh, aguardando com o mar. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. That, oh, that that would definitely God. work, you know, the Portuguese network. Yeah, I've never seen movies de sobre the young, sobre the Tarasin. So, I had an idea that I had to grab a lady. The Britain, the Terra of the Young, is the best. Thank you. Oh. Thank you very much. You're very informative. Oh, também quem grava no espaço. Quem vai gravar para o espaço. É uma coisa que ninguém estava a esperar. Porra, quem eu gosto que treina agora para ir para o espaço, fechado no ar, olha, para ir lá para cima. Fighting's not that easy. Oh, no way. Que lá não é. Se não ias, não vai fugir. Porra, no way. Até não pia. So I asked him if he's going to rock. Not for me. Nothing. So the vian é mal. <laughs> nice. Oh so, God. okay. So we'll go on to the next story because this one's a little bit dead. Is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> okay. So the next story. Next story. I don't know if you heard or not, but Hollywood's looking for a new James Bond. All right. Daniel Craig, he filmed his, his last movie. Do you know what the name of his last movie was? Yeah, it's actually coming out, I think, Friday. I'm not sure. 
It's uh, James Bond. Yes, James Bond. But the name of his m movie um, is No Time to Die. Mm -hmm. Imagine No Time to Die. No, I think I'm wrong. <laughs> so they are casting right now for a new James Bond because Daniel Craig is done. So the way I look at it and what I want to ask you, this is the Budgie's Realtor Show. What do you think I'm yeah. going to ask you? He's okay. the first name. Easy. <laughs> okay. What I want to ask is that if the casting call for the new James Bond had to be a Portuguese guy, what would be the best? What would be the best uh, candidates for that? So my guess, okay, and what I come up with, we need some strong men, strong face, mean. Cristiano Ronaldo. What do you think, huh? Oh, Cristiano Ronaldo still plays. Uh, I don't know. So I mean, okay, hold on a second. Okay, <clears throat> hold on. I think he's a good choice. I mean, I think the women would would, would enjoy watching his movie. But if not Cristiano Ronaldo, how about Luis Figue? Uh, which we... A little bit older. Uh, got that right. macho, got that macho look. Uh, Strong have... chin. Tommy uh, just have place. Opa. Oh, you remember Sean Connery? I mean, okay, it's okay. It's so the... not Luis Vig. It's uh. the different. <laughs> All right. How about Jose Mourinho? Jose Mourinho, cool, cool, brown, cool, fitty, you win something. Tommy, I miss a con. I miss a con. I miss the match. No, I'm not so sad for Ale. No, not as not as so sad. I miss the shit. All right. I mean, I'm trying to think of. Oh, here's a good one, and th and this brings a little bit of local flavor into it too. All right, strong guy. Yeah. Got that mean look. Jorgen De Castro. How about Jorgen De Castro? Cape know. Verdean slash Portuguese. You know what I mean? Strong dude. Kicks yeah. ass. Nice face. Yeah. Bad. Ah. Yeah. No? This still doesn't do it for you? I don't know. She's the big man. All right. Oh. Okay. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> the Sakanish of all Sakanish. How about Sergio Conceição? Oh, Sergio Conceição. Fils de pute. I don't got Sakan, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> É mesmo um petista, pá. Mas deixa de estar ali no Porto, quando está fazendo o Butterball. Não tem aquela coisa. Só no 007 for uh, Sergio Conceição. Se um dia o Porto perder, eu leva te também. Then we'll ship him to Hollywood. Ok, so oh since, since you don't like none of my candidates, all right, I'm going to ask you then. If you were to put someone up there that would do a great job as. James Bond 007. Who would that be? The James Bond? Yeah. What is your first name? What do you know? You tell me. Who do you who would you like to see as James Bond? Mark Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Mark Dan, you're Superman. Oh, look at more. No time to die. No time to die. Yeah. Epa, o gajo cai do aspeito, o nigga morre, essa cara. Oh, yeah, Mark Dennis. Mark, Mark Dennis, Superman. if you're watching this, I'm going to send this to Hollywood. You are going to be the next yeah, James Bond. You best for this. <laughs> <laughs> That came out of left field. Oh. <laughs> he mocked Dennis. <laughs> Dennis. Of all the strong men I put up here, <laughs> you, you were like, eh, eh, no, I, I can't, no. Mark Dennis. Mark Dennis. Ganzis <laughs> Mischleiter. Mark Dennis. For a man, I won't fail. <laughs> I'm gonna piss my pants. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna piss my pants. I'm gonna piss my pants. Okay. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. Um, I didn't see that one. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That did it for me, man. Where did you come with a kulka below van? Yes. I, uh, I apologize. <laughs> I got I got my executive producer, but it's that's leaving the room right now because he he thinks he's gonna throw up from laughing so much. 
but that's all right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Guys, I got a little bit of story of myself. Um, today I went to AT&T. So my son's been on me. Yes, Cameron. He's been on me uh, for a, about two weeks now. And he's like, Dad, you, you got to get a new phone. I mean, um, your phone's five years old, you know. I, I, I do a lot of videos. You would think that I would have the best of the best. But I have an iPhone 7. All right? it's, it's nothing new. Um, but he's like, Dad, you got to get a new phone, get a new phone. I've been hearing this for like a week. I'm like, all right, kid. You know what? So I stopped at AT&T. All right? So I was like, hey, I want to get a new phone. You got that I, iPhone uh, Pro Max 13, whatever. Picture. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. He's like, how much is it? He goes, oh, it depends what you want. I mean, what do you mean? I just want the fucking phone. He goes, no. You got him with 128. I, I don't even know the lingo that he gave me. So we, we decided on one. All right, like 512 or 525, I don't even know what it is. So it's got enough space for shit that I need to do. So he's like, okay, that's $1,387. Peach it, buddy! Holy Are you shit. freaking kidding me? Fuck Fuck that. That. <clears throat> but Whoa. it is what it is. You know what I mean? Because the way I look at it, um, these phones nowadays, you, you, you use them just like a computer. That's what you're spending for a computer. I do more work on my phone than I actually do on my laptop. So... I opened up the wallet, shit, cop, webs, he treated me, and so I got the phone. I don't have the phone now. As you can see, I still have my seven yet. Those are my two lovely kids, but, uh, um, you know, it doesn't come in until the 18th. You got to wait for it. You spend all that money, and then you still got to wait, so it's coming. But the reason why I'm bringing this story up is that how far back can you remember your very first cell phone? Now, I got my first cell phone in 1994. It was a Motorola piece of shit, but the fucking thing oh. you can you can drop it, you you can like slam it. Uh, Helder, you got it? Uh, not Helder, Milton, you got a picture of that phone? I got it up there, bro. There you go. You see that thing? This is the big phone. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what I carried around for. Um, that's what I carried around for like a, a couple of years, and that thing you can literally drop a cinder block on it. Okay, from building materials. And it wouldn't break. It, all you could do is make a phone call. <laughs> but, I mean, it wouldn't break, you know? So, um, yeah, if you can remember back to when you got your first phone, your first cell phone, please comment and tell me what, uh, excuse me, what uh, cell phone you had as your very first cell phone. Because I'm interested. You know what I mean? I, shit that I like, you know? But, uh. You remember your first cell phone? Yeah, he's a big phone. Pull, I pull in my pocket, you know. No, not big. Are you explaining yeah. your cock or are you explaining your cell phone? <laughs> no, because antigamente the telephone was grand. Of course. You go to the car, the phone was grand the other way. Because I was a little bit of a phone. Agora, I was a little bit of a telephone, the grand, the grand, the grand. The other way, the other way, the other way. You see? <laughs> this show is not just for English, it's for Portuguese people too. <laughs> so now. <laughs> What do you have now? Me, my phone Wi-Fi. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a phone with Wi-Fi. My, my first phone is uh, Motorola. Motorola. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't Motorola. know if that's a phone or some sort of tool, no, but that's okay. It's, it's Motorola. A Motorola. Motorola. It's a big phone. <laughs> Nice. Yeah, so we're, we're both on the same page. I had a big Motorola. <laughs> big Motorola. <laughs> big Motorola. <laughs> oh, yeah. She, she's a work. Some, anyway, you lost the... The road. <laughs> now he's talking Chinese. Uh, no, she's... Uh, it's the phone. I don't think I'm going to lose it. Today we're going to be the same as the other one. Whether it's the best, whether it's the worst. Oh, yeah. I don't know. It's the price that we have. All right, guys. Don't forget that question that we asked in the beginning of the show. If you haven't um, answered it yet, I, I'm I'm really intrigued to uh, what to hear what your answers would be to something like that. But if you don't remember or you weren't here in the beginning, I'll ask it again. Uh, if you can comment, that'd be very important. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> or you can call in. It, it is what it is. But um, what did your parents do back then? Okay, that if they did today. DSS would be knocking on your door. And I gave you an example of me being my own babysitter. Um, not my own babysitter, but babysitter at like nine years old to my sister and my brother. 
while my parents went out to the restaurant. Okay, so that's my little story, and I'm sticking to it. And so I'm just uh, curious of what you know happened in your family. But uh, <clears throat> so, excuse me, I, I just need some freaking water. That's why I keep coughing. My my apologies. Yeah. Um. So uh, another little story that I got for you. Um. Uh, <clears throat> For all my Portuguese peeps that love wine, and I know there's a lot of them out there, so um, I just want to let you know, if you can think back, maybe not everybody, but this happened in my household, okay? I remember being about eight years old, and I used to help my grandfather and my father, uh, you know yeah, what that is? Yes, yes, I remember my grandfather and my father, too. So, fait donc comme c'est prendre de bœuf là. Oh my god. OK. Il faut qu'on aller en France, prendre son de la zuve, je qu'il vienne courant. So, me je tire la base zuve. Cash mouse. No. No. Okay. So, well, this is the story that I have. Thank you very much. Hope. So, <clears throat> this is the story that I have. So, when we used to do it, we had this piece of wood that would go over this like half cup bonsaid. And a gente calava com as mãos. So, so we used to do it by hand. They actually would spill the grapes over into this little container type thing, and we would actually um, crush the grapes by hand. <clears throat> But, so when we used to go to school, I remember hiding my hands all the time. Because if you know anything about making wine, your hands would be purple. <laughs> and they'd be purple for like yeah, because a week. Wow. So it, it was like embarrassing. I didn't know that. So, oh, yeah. So you would know the Portuguese kids, you know, and not the comedians, but you would know the Portuguese kids because they'd all have purple hands. I had purple hands yeah. from when I was like about seven, eight years old, right until I was like 16, because I would always help my parents make wine. I would never know about <clears> pressing <throat> wine. I would know about drinking it, but pressing it. Yeah, <laughs> so I press and I drink I'd rather it. drink it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. But uh, that's my little story. Um, You know, it's it's just little things that us Portuguese um, kids went through uh, that a normal kid wouldn't even even know anything about, you know? And that's what makes us unique. <laughs> that's what makes it a little funny now that you can look back on it. But it was embarrassing. I mean, you'd always have your hands like this because you didn't want to show your teacher your purple hands, you know? <laughs> well, the crushed pepper, you got to be careful with that. Because it would burn your hands at night. I did that one time. I didn't know about that. I'm trying to sleep, and my hands are on fire. And I'm what the hell is this shit? You know? Oh, I, I didn't know whether this shit go blind. I <laughs> yeah, crazy. The peppers is bad. Yeah, but you, they they say put milk on it. Yeah, gotta put milk. We put it in the same on the car, but not that you can new for the three cars. We put the most out. So, yeah, we're all wine drinkers. So, I to this day at least know how to make wine. If I wanted to, I can make it like the back of my hand. I, it's I, many, many, many years of, of uh, <clears throat> making wine for my family. Wow. But uh, other than that, Now I just go to Portugalia because Portugalia has like probably one of the best wine selections that I know for Portuguese wine. I mean, it's it's unbelievable. And that's just a free little spoof towards them. And I, you know what I mean? They didn't put me up to that. It's just I shop there. It is what it is, you know? See, the, the, best, <clears throat> the best wine is Portuguese wine. So since we're talking about wine, you know, um, I have a little video for you that has a little bit to do with wine. But uh, it's pretty funny. I hope you like it. Uh, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. But if you have, then hey, watch it again, you know? Shoot that. Pense que a gente está falando muito da vascutica, rapaz. Abre o olho. Vamos buscar o copo de vinho, como até para a mão dele. Oh, alô. Epá, já vês, pá, os rapazes não querem nada, pá. Puxa. É porque eu digo para buscar um copo de vinho. Ele diz, oh, meu pá, está a som todo na sofa, não está fazendo nada. Porque é que meu pá não pode ir tocar? O que é pá, trabalhei todo o dia. Ai. Só quero ir a tic, 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 todo o dia na colex box, na pinche que para ir. É pá, tchau. Oh my god. 
So that's my little wine video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, hey, era o controle meu para quando mandava ir buscar vem e logo as corridas. No, that's why. <laughs> era para ele e para mim. That's an even trade. You know what I mean? But um, okay. Hey, are we getting anything at all on that question that I asked? I Just wanted on know. comments. I don't, I don't see it. That's all right. Everybody's embarrassed. Nobody wants DSS a dead door. You know what I mean? That's all right, guys. You know, <laughs> no, it is what it is. Then no, I'm gonna have to. That loves you, I'm. <laughs> your wife. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Listen oh, up, yeah, guys. Yeah, I'm going to throw you I'm going to throw you another scenario on that question, all right? Something that I went through, all right? I remember the Holy Ghost feasts were very very important back in the day, right? especially to my family. So, we used to have the Ishpit Sants just about every year for about 15, 20 years in a row. My dad was more like three times, okay? So, I remember everybody's praying upstairs. What's the kids do? The kids go downstairs. We don't pray at that age. We want to play kick the can outside, or, or, or what we did is we went to the beer tap that was in the basement, and we're drinking, we're drinking beers on tap at like seven years old. Yes, DSS. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I don't, you know, I'm not saying for everybody to drink. <laughs> I'm just telling what I went through, man. It, it is what it is. And, and I am not an alcoholic at this uh, 46 years of age, so I can care less for alcohol, to tell you the truth. <clears throat> so. Guys, um, that's pretty much um, what I have for news um, as far as uh, what I've, I've gone through and whatnot. You know, so I want to bring to you a little bit of um, a, events that's going around the city, um, in case you don't know. And I like to give you a little bit of a, an update on that, just because you know we got things that are going on. So to keep you informed, um, there's a Halloween haunt at the Lizzie Borden House. If you guys don't know. All right, so um, it's 2.30, Second Street, Fall River, Massachusetts, Saturday, October 23rd to Sunday, October 24th. So it starts on Saturday, I want to say like 5 o'clock in the evening, and it ends um, at 10 o'clock in the morning. It's a bed and breakfast. They scare the shit out of you. Uh, from what I read, um, you know, they, they, they do the whole thing of what happened with Lizzie Borden. And then the next morning, because it's a bed and breakfast, you actually wake up and you have breakfast at the in in the actual room that they did the autopsies back in the day, so that's that's pretty uh, pretty weird, pretty 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 weird shit. But yeah. if you're into that, you know it's um, but it's interesting. You know what I mean? Because that's what we're known for here in, in Fall River, Lizzie Borden. You know what I mean? So hey, it's something to do. You know what I mean? So <laughs> that's that. Um, you can get information on that on the internet. You know what I mean? Just Google it. So it's it's up there. Um, also, they have Mean Girls Trivia Night. The fuck is that? Mean? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Guys, Mean Girls Trivia Night at Barrett's Ale House. Yes, October twenty first, so seven p.m. If you're into that movie, they're gonna have a trivia night dedicated to Mean Girls. Um, give them a call. It's forty one seventy one North Main Street, Fall River. So it's the one up by Shaw's. Um, again, October twenty first, seven p.m. Reserve your table at the very least. If you know shit about Mean Girls, they're gonna give you cheese fries. So if we, we want to go there just for the fucking cheese fries, <laughs> cheese fries. <laughs> that's what's going on there. And uh, the other thing that I came across is uh, Hocus Pocus. Yes, um, Halloween. It's a Hocus Pocus Halloween party and drive-in movie uh, put on by the City of Fall River and Mayor Coogan uh, and the Fall River Recreation. Um, so tickets are on sale, but they don't start until October 8th, so you can't get them right now, but you can, starting October 8th, get tickets to that. Uh, the event starts at 3.30 in the afternoon on October 31st, Halloween, and it's going to be at the uh, BMC Durfee High School, I think right on the West Main parking lot, so you can get information on that. <clears throat> so that's what I got for the very first podcast, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Trust me, things are going to get better from here. Um, this was our very first, pod, very first podcast, so I hope you enjoyed it. It was good. and Very good. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> he said it was good. I'm going by that. Oh, yeah. Guys, uh, don't forget to share this. Um, even though it's the end of the show, please share it. Please <clears throat> um, you know, comment on it. Um, really, really would help us out. I appreciate everything. I really do from the bottom of my heart. This was very nerve-wracking this week leading up to this, but uh, we got through it, and it's going to get better. So I also want to say thank you to Gilly. 
Gilly, thank, thank you very you. much. Boa noite para, para toda a gente. I wanna... Estão sustentando. It's a good night. Para quem não percebe português. <laughs> Of course. Okay. I, I apologize. I couldn't tell what you were saying. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, if anybody wants to be part of the studio audience, we want to we want to get a studio audience in here because we want them to interact with us if they have anything on their mind, anything that we're talking about. It'd be great to have that here. So if you do, um, just comment um, on my podcast if you want, the Portuguese Realtor. Uh, so like that, I can actually go back and forth with you, tell you what you have to do. Or uh, Helda Souza's page, if you go on uh, Helda, um, sorry, SouzaImageWorks.com, you know, like his page. You can always send him messages on there. Uh, so, yeah, that's what we got. We would love to see you here. So, guys, please don't forget to share this show because that's what's going to keep this show uh, going forward. All right? So, thank you very much. I love you all. But before I go, I just want to say thank you to Milton because he's the one that put this all together also and kept it going. So, you know. Um, and, uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. All right. All right. We'll see you next week. Take care.